think that they felt to go down the road of corruption? Who's putting that pressure on these writers? It must come from somewhere where they said you have to take all these illegal drugs to perform. Why do you think the sport embraced that in the 80s? It's a good question. Yeah, it's a good it? question, honestly. Um, those matters you've mentioned, they were in professional cycling from the beginning, from, from 100 years ago. I don't want to say it's always about fraud, always uh, no. about corruption, but uh, there was there was a dark side of cycling from 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 the beginning, from from its origin. Uh, I think it, it's, it's it's going to lead out too far if I should hang on all the things and me I'm, I'm 43 I, I don't know what's going what, what was going on in, in the 50s or 60s but uh, let me say it in a few simple words if professional road cycling will have a chance to reinvent for the future then they have to do their work by now the thing is here in the heads of all those people they have to come to uh, to another culture and uh, they have to be clear for itself and saying uh, do I do I do do I do my sports legally or not yes. so and of course we do need the uh, highest performance technology to uh, detect those riders uh, with, with hidden motors or something like this so w once again once again that uh, I think much work is to be done in the recent years and I can only focus on Germany um, cycling is much better perceptive than in the past um, but there's, there's so much things to do your favorite rider out of I mean, it's a hard one to choose, isn't it? Historically? Yeah, historically, it's Bernard Hinault. Uh, I love that rider Why? because uh, they called him Le Bleu. Um, he is so... He was so focused on his sport and uh, meanwhile aggressive uh, within the races and uh, always keen on fighting, always uh, keen on winning that races and uh, I, I love that uh, brutality in a positive manner when he went out doing his sports. Well that's what we love about these athletes, they're yeah. so inspiring and yeah. I think that's why I'm asking yeah. other questions. Well I think definitely with likes of Tom it's a new generation of writers, yeah. um, ones that are inspiring, and uh, I'm excited, I'm excited to be um, involved. One last question, social media marketing, very new to, to <laughs> us, I grew my brand on that. Uh, how important is it within this sport and even with, with in TV in Germany? You know? Yeah, uh, cycle sport is back in TV in Germany. Um, however, not uh, in that scope uh, we've expected. Not in that scope it should be. So uh, the new kind of media, social media, social web, all those things plays an important role and uh, has to be increased uh, in the future. For 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 my understanding here, and uh, even the older guys like me, because I'm not a digital native. I uh, should hang on that uh, new technologies and uh, I could learn from my daughters yeah. how to use it but sometimes I have to admit digital revolution it's, it's a hard one and uh, I have to deal with day by day. Well my advice to you is get on to Snapchat. Yeah, Snapchat. I think you'll be really yeah. good for Snapchat. But our interview is much too long for Snapchat. <laughs> okay, thank, you. thank you very much.